Namibia is susceptible to floods and drought, and the impact of these disasters are stalling the country's industrialization goals. The 2011 floods and the prevailing drought therefore require responses, guaranteeing long-term risk management solutions. In this regard, the Joint Management Committee, comprising staff from the Ministry and the stakeholders, will first develop integrated and drought management plan for the Kuwalai Etosha Basin before assessing other areas. Skills training and capacity building among university students will be enhanced to assist with early warnings for the natural disasters. We are going to look even into what kind of engineering works that can be put in place to minimize the flooding. Now the flood comes and just take over the whole Kuvelai. All the towns of Oshakati, Ongediva, Oshikang, or wherever, Utapi, everybody's underwater. The project, once implemented, will run for five years and about $10 million have been set aside. UNESCO will help in securing the additional $76 million during the five-year period and also avail technical experts. And then, when you know where we'll have, we'll have the flood, it's not only sufficient to know where we'll have the flood, where we'll have the drought. This is the first step. Now you need to identify where are those vulnerable communities, vulnerable areas. And that also we need science to do that. Government assures of its readiness in safeguarding water sources for the development of the country. Blanche Corses, NBC News, Ventuk.